Earlier this morning, in these debt reduction talks, Eric Cantor, he's the majority leader, the Republican majority leader in the House, he's simply withdrawn from the talks. Shortly after that, Mitch McConnell, the Republican leader in the Senate, had some really rather drastic things to say about President Obama. Now, on top of all this has been our own Rich Edson reporting to us from Washington, D.C., as things have been unfolding. Just give me an update. Tell me exactly again, what did Cantor do? What did McConnell say? The lead negotiator, Stuart, for House Republicans, Eric Cantor, says he's withdrawing from these deficit negotiations because he says Democrats are insisting on raising taxes. He says that's not something that can pass the House. It's not something that can pass the Senate. So he's asking the president to step in, work out the tax issue, and he, Eric Cantor, is stepping out. Meanwhile, Mitch McConnell, about 10 minutes later, the Senate minority leader, the top Republican of the Senate, came out and said the president hasn't shown any leadership on this issue. He says the president's been acting like it's not his problem. We're waiting for the White House to react. We're waiting for Democrats to react. We're even waiting for the Speaker of the House, John Boehner, to react to all of this. We're also getting reaction on Capitol Hill from oil stewards, Strategic Petroleum Reserve, the number three Republican in the House. The whip, Eric, uh, or the whip uh, Kevin McCarthy said, frankly, the release of the Strategic Petroleum Reserve is pathetic because Democrats not only block domestic energy production at every turn, the president is now drawing down on our nation's strategic oil reserve, which is intended for national emergencies. A lot Excellent. coming out of Washington. Wow. Yeah, there really is a lot coming out of Washington. Suffice it to say that these debt reduction talks are cantankerous in the extreme.